Floating architecture provides a solution to living with climate change, rather than stopping it. One of the more prominent, well-respected players in this area is Water Studio. The Dutch architectural company, led by Kuhn Holtijs, has built its reputation over the years as the leading innovators on floating architecture. Their response to the looming climate threat is to plan for change, to develop on offshore living in a flexible and sustainable way. Like the floating theater of Lyon, their grandest project yet is the floating city in the Maldives. As an island nation, it's one of the many in danger of sinking beneath the waves as the sea level rises. So the government of the Maldives partnered with Water Studio with the goal of building a sustainable, eco-friendly city. Its hexagonal design is inspired by brain coral, allowing room for expansion while dividing the city in a way that can minimize risks from extreme waves and weather. The first island has already been constructed, serving as a proof of concept for their future plans. Another ambitious project, together with Oceanex and the Busan metropolitan city of the Republic of Korea, they are working to construct a floating city off the coast of Busan. The prototype was first unveiled at the UN headquarters. The floating city will be floodproof, rising and falling with the ocean levels. It's also meant to be independent, able to produce its own food, energy, and fresh water. The lodging platform is designed for visitors with harbour view guest rooms, restaurants, retail, and other amenities situated in greenhouses with glass roofs. The research platform, meanwhile, is meant to house the hydroponic towers that will grow food for the community and serve as a research hub. Lastly, the living platform will be filled with residential buildings for more permanent housing. These ambitious projects certainly spark the imagination, but just how practical are they? If successful, they will be the first of their kind, sparking a new wave of human settlement across the ocean. The cost of construction alone will be immense. In 2013, a floating city was proposed to the Polynesian government by the Seasteading Institute. The whole city in total would have cost approximately $167 million. Considering that Oceanic City is planned to have about 10,000 people living in it, the cost could come up to a truly mind-boggling number. This leads to the concern that floating cities will just turn into settlements for the rich, an expensive paradise separated from the rest of the world.